welcome back to the Antisocial Planet. Today we are watching episode 44 and episode 45. Whew, we're getting up there in the numbers. It's going to take me a little bit <laughs> to like wrap my brain. When we like skip arcs, my brain is not going to be able to function with the numbers. Anyway, uh, but before we get into that, I just wanted to take a quick moment and just say Thank you guys for being amazing. I've just, I've been reading through comments and I know I'm behind on responding to everybody, but I've been reading through them and they just, they bring me so much joy. <laughs> Making videos is like the highlight of my day and then being able to go through and read all of your guys' comments, whether it's like really wonderfully detailed world building stuff that just, I like, I like make screenshots and I have a little folder where I keep track of everything so that I can go back to it, or if it's just like saying hello and being like, I'm new to the channel, or telling me who your favorite character is, it just, it just makes me so happy. Look how smiley I am, you know? So I just wanted to take a moment to thank you guys so much for being wonderful, and also point out that like, this is where I started. Okay, I started off as happy people, and I feel like Mayori is just gonna like, rip out my happiness over the course of this episode. Maybe literally. I actually don't know what his deal is, so I'm just like, I'm I'm trying to not let <laughs> the anxiety about what's about to happen with Ishida overwhelm me. So remember that I started smiling, because it's probably not how this is gonna end. It'll be fine. I want to put aside Ichigo and Yoroichi and all the stuff that's happening with his Impact Toe releases for right now because I feel like at least for episode 44 we're going to focus mostly on Ishida and Mayori's fight so I'm just gonna like leave that over there for a moment because if I talk about everything that has been going on it's too much at this point so gonna put it over in a little box for a second and we're gonna focus on Ishida and Mayori and what was happening with them specifically. So we have our creepy robot captain that has taken an interest in Orihime specifically because she has kind of a unique ability and wants to experiment on her and dissect her and who knows what he would do to her if she was one of his subjects. And Ishida has gotten one of the other Soul Reapers to take her away uh, after she saved him from exploding, because apparently Mayuri's just, like, throwing away his subordinates, like they're nothing. We've gotten to see one of the releases of Mayori's Zenpakuto, which like severs specific nerves and like connections to the brain to like be the most effective and like cause the most pain and yeah. So he's attacked Ishida like through his lieutenant who is one of those, um, Gaigi, the, like, fake bot- like, she's partly that and partly some other stuff, but he's, like, experimenting. Um, so she's one of the experiments that he's put together, um, with one of these, like, fake bodies and, like, you know, other complicated stuff. But he, like, cut through her to get to Ishida, and so Ishida can't use his one arm which is not great, considering that he uses a bow and arrow, which requires two arms to, like, draw his bow. Things weren't looking good for Ishida, which is when we got a little bit of backstory about Mayuri's interactions with Quincy's and how uh, he quite likes to experiment on them, and part of the reason he isn't interested in Ishida is because he has done an extensive amount of research on Quincy's, and by research, I mean he's killed a lot of them, uh, including, but not limited to, Ishida's grandfather, who he, uh, he took apart a little bit and decided to share a picture with Ishida. 
Ishida has, uh, he's got some anger related to that. I mean, he already had a lot of, you know, suppressed emotions about his grandfather's death in general. He wasn't dealing with it super well. And then to be face to face with the Soul Reaper that killed him, he's not doing well. So he got a, he's, he's a little bit angry. He's a little bit emotional. And, uh, his uh his soul pressure i think it's i think it's spirit pressure i think that's what it is because i feel like the magic system can't be exclusive to like one group of people like there has to be some crossover with it but it looks like soul pr spirit pressure so he's got a lot of uh energy swirling around him right now that's pretty much where we left off with that I honestly, I, I don't know if Ishida is strong enough to fight a captain and win at this moment. Now, whether or not he pulls out some tricks that I have not seen before or that, like, he hasn't even used before, like Ichigo did, I don't know. Especially since he's the only Quincy that, well, I mean, that is around, but also that, like, I've had any, like... I've seen anything of, so I don't really know what Quincy's are capable of, like what their training is, like what it looks like to be a like fully trained, fully in their power Quincy. So I mean, he's definitely advanced, we know that. So I'm not saying that Ishida like isn't a great Quincy as he is, but like it's not it's not like with soul reapers where like we've seen a lot of different soul reapers we've seen captains we've seen like the really powerful captains even though they haven't fully shown us their power yet but i just like i know more about that because that's what we focus on a lot with the story whereas like quincy's i like hasn't fully been explored yet so i'm not sure what he is fully capable of but I'm excited to see, especially since, like, I don't want him to get hurt. Like, I want, I want to see him go all out. I want to see him, like, you know, be in his power and, like, show me what he's got. But I also don't want him to get hurt anymore. Especially since with Mayuri, he's, like, experimented on himself. And he has all, like, I don't know what that fully entails either. Like, put aside the fact that he is a, a captain and therefore, like, has a bunch of power in and of himself, but, like, also he's done all this experimentation in his body, like, with his arm that could, like, s like snake out and, and grab at people, and we saw something with, like, his ear or something that was happening in the preview, so, like, I, I really don't know what tricks he has up his sleeve, but the only way for me to find out is to watch the episode, so let's get in the episode 44, before I lose my nerve. In three, two, one, go. And you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna get Totoro now, because I feel like it's that, it's gonna be that kind of an episode. You know, I don't see this going well. And even if, like, it does end with Ishida, like, winning or surviving, I, he's not going to come out of it without getting really beat up. Like, I don't see him, like, coming out of this as he is currently with, like, just his arm injured. He's going to get beat up, I just know it. <sighs> How's Ganju doing? Just a thought. I haven't even been able to see Shadow and don't remind me of how anxious I am about him.
Okay, just... Yep, break my heart again. I feel like that's the worst part of the summaries. Like, I don't even mind that they do, like, a little summary of what happened in the previous episode. Except that the episodes keep ending in, like, the most heartbreaking or stressful moments. And I just... Why do you have to live through it again? Why are you gonna make me live through it a second time, okay? Yeah. See, that has to be spirit pressure, right? It looks like it. Maybe it's just something similar? He's going to make your day awful. What's that? Oh, okay. So he can't move it like he normally would, but he's kind of circumventing it. Oh, goodness. Oh! Over 2,000 subjects? Ah. <sighs> Oh, so now are you interested? I was gonna say, is that his father?
Well, you shouldn't do it for your father's approval. You should do it for yourself. I don't know if that's a good thing, but... I don't know if that's good either. I don't think being left alive in this instance is what you would prefer. I think he probably wants to protect you. <sighs> Why? <sighs> the glove. Mm. Oh, honey. Oh dear. Why does that feel like ominous foreshadowing? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Outfit change. He looks like a knight. Ooh. Well, he looks scared. Oh. Oh, it's like that, huh? Wow. Oh, it's probably worse in this environment, too. Like, if he wasn't in the Soul Society, it'd be, like, one thing to take off the glove and have his power go crazy. But, like, to be surrounded by, like, spirit energy? Oy. Oh. Oh! It's like he's got a wing. You mean you held back when you had a clear attack? Boy. Ooh. <gasps> I mean, way to go, Ishida, but also, like, I'm worried about your safety. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> What the heck is that? Better make this fast, fast Ishida. <laughs> See, I expected that the Bankai would be like still in an obvious weapon form. This is like a whole different thing. Go for the throat. Whoa. I mean, someone must have noticed that, like the other captains. <laughs> There's no way no one noticed that. <gasps> Whoa. He lost his hat. Dang! Ishida! <sighs> Whoa. Ugh. What did he do there? So he got away?
It's like, uh, and the poison he was e he's exposed to. But he's gonna be messed up anyway because he took off the glove. Well, that's not terrifying. Appreciation. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, he probably made her that way. Yeah, there's no way nobody noticed what just happened. Like, you're gonna have a bunch of people come into this spot. Okay, but like, are you feeling okay, Ishida? How are we doing? It looks like you're close to where Ichigo is. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you're in a condition to save her. He would be. Did you see he's going through something? <sighs> you couldn't just let him recover, figure out his own stuff, huh? Just gotta throw more at him. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm angry at this, this captain being like, I'm gonna fight him. He's not ready. 
Give him a minute to breathe. It's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. So, I was definitely right in the whole thing of where it's like, I don't see how Yoshida could be Mayuri, like, as I understood his powers leading up to this point. And I understand the mechanics, too, of, like, the glove that he was wearing is, like, for channeling a bunch of energy. So, it's, like, channeling th through it, right? Which is something that I've talked about before, like channeling power through objects. And I feel like it's kind of, not exactly, but it has a similar thing to like Zenpakuto in that like, it just gives like a physical thing to channel energy through and to like control it. Whereas now that Ishida has taken off the glove, he doesn't have that like anchor to his power. So he's like, pulled all of this energy and all of this power holding it inside of himself since he's put the glove on and like mastered it and now that it's gone like that power doesn't have anything to keep it under control so it's just sort of like going wild and like he can control it to a certain extent but he doesn't like he but he, it's only for so long like i feel like i said something about that too where i was like i feel like any new power that ishida unlocks he'll be able to figure out how to control it pretty well because he's like a very like self-disciplined person but just because he can control it doesn't like even a little bit doesn't mean that it's a power he is meant to fully wield or like keep within himself like i feel like the problem right now is like his body suddenly has all of this pressure on it it doesn't know what to do with it so but like the fight <laughs> the fight with mayuri where he was just like i'm gonna show this guy what i can do and he just like i mean seeing the bankai the first bankai i've seen i thought that because the uh, Shikai was like still the weapon in like in essence like it still like had the basic shape of what the Zenpakuto was and then like it kind of changed it a, a little bit but like it, it still had like fundamentally it was the sword the Benkai is like completely different like it's a whole different beast for lack of a better word but it does apply pretty well here like it's something way else and i'm i cannot wait to see like how that manifests to like each of the other zenpakuto because they all have like their own ability and like their own style and flair to them so all of the benkai are probably going to be different and definitely going to be different i can't wait to see like what exactly manifests itself through that but the fact that Ishida straight up, like, tore that thing in half, and you could see, like, his arrow, like, like, keep going. Like, he just, he, he, like, right down the middle and took Mayuri along with it. Like, I'm so proud. <laughs> it was so cool and I'm so proud of him for like doing that and winning even though he didn't kill Mayori which I'm like I don't like the idea of him like existing as like goo like <laughs> I didn't think he could get creepier but like he managed it and I don't like the idea that, that he's gonna be something they have to deal with later 
in some capacity. But so proud of him for winning that fight. Even though I I don't want him to, you know, lose his powers. I don't think I don't think he'll die from it. Like from like actually like losing like taking off the glove. But I think if it takes his power that would probably be a good way to get himself killed, considering he is in Soul Society and surrounded by Soul Reapers that uh, kind of want him dead, or at least captured. I feel like most of the Soul Reapers are like not trying to kill any of the intruders right now, because they're like, we want to find out like who they are and why they're here, because it's not like, oh, they're just people, they're just like so misguided people who have like managed to get in and now we have to get rid of them like they've been holding their own really well so i feel like now they're like okay what ex who exactly are they and what do they want is uh kind of their mindset now so i don't think this new captain that's shown up is going to kill ishida i feel like probably they won't have much of a fight because ishida like doesn't have him doesn't have it in him so i feel like it's not gonna be <laughs> It's not gonna be like a huge drawn out thing. I feel like probably Ishida's gonna be taken prisoner, like most of the rest of the people who have helped out Ichigo along the way. And then it looks like we're gonna get back into the Ichigo and Yoroichi training to unlock the Benkai of Ichigo's Senpakuto, which I am super excited to see now that I have a better idea what a Benkai is. I so want to see what Ichigo's is gonna be, cause it's probably gonna be epic. Even though I also feel like something else is gonna get unlocked. Like some other layer to his abilities is gonna come to light with the training. I just don't know what. Let's just watch the next episode. And then I'm so like hype now after that fight. I'm worried, but also like the adrenaline of that fight. So let's just get into episode 45. In three, two, one, go. Ooh. My volume was really high again. <laughs> My headphones do weird things lately. I gotta get new ones. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm too hyped now. I thought that episode would like crush my soul entirely. But. I feel like. I'm too proud of Ishida. I'm worried about him, but like I also feel like he's not gonna die. So that might be why I'm like doing okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. I might have too much caffeine in me too. It's pretty early in the morning, so the caffeine is fresh. <laughs> I really, really, really want to see Ishida's. I mean, Ichigo's Benkai. I don't know if we're gonna see it in this episode, but like now that I, I've seen one, I'm like so excited. Worried about my boy though. I think he's probably gonna be taken and locked up. I do like his knight armor getup that's happening though. But the wing, it's almost like a archangel kind of vibe. Like Archangel Michael, so that makes me think of. He will be, he would be ticked off. Yes. I don't think you're in the right condition, though. Nice glasses. I like his hair too. <sighs> Maybe 
Yeah, what is this? This, like, inverted thing. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, see, that's what I said. I'm like, I didn't think it was gonna be, like, a full-on fight between them. Given how Ishida is, like, not in good condition. Yes. Ten years, but we're gonna do it in a few days. No pressure. Mmm. Is it? How'd you get one? You gotta hear the name. Oh. going Force him into submission. Ooh. But you guys have just worked out how to work together. Why are we fighting each other? Why can't it be partnership? <coughs> oh, is that the field of sword things that's in the opener? Or like similar? Mm. Oh dear. But you guys had just become partners and worked out how to be together. Why are we fighting? Why can't we be friends? Squad 4! Oh! There, there you're him! Okay, hello! How is... How is everybody? Are they healing okay? Mm. Yeah, Squad 11 was not doing well. Oh. <gasps> My 
Oh boy! I think it's just like ranting in the records. <laughs> hey, I like his outfit. It's got style and flair. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, play it cool. I knew he was going to get punished, but he's such a sweetie. She lieutenant then? Benji! How you doing? You still trying to find your purpose? You look like you've healed nicely, which makes me feel better. found our purpose, huh? What are we doing? Please think before you act. <laughs> oh. You were doing your job. <sighs> Don't beat yourself up. You're being a good lieutenant. Gee. Yeah, I know that voice.
Ugh, look at look at him. You get away from him. Ugh. I feel like you boys need to talk through some things. Figure out a way to work together. <laughs> Find another way. Stop getting head injuries. Boy, you can only get so many concussions before some really bad stuff starts to happen to your brain. Ugh. He just started healing again. <laughs> she wanted what a hime. <laughs> Aww, poor hime. Oh, hello again. So you lived. I don't know if I love Orahime being with <laughs> Squad Eleven. This is for Ikage. Trust him. I guess she's not strong enough for Zedeki to be super interested in her. Hello. Ganju? <gasps> Ganju! Looking like the Invisible Man, though. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> I want to understand why you're here. <gasps> Sudo! Oh, 
everybody's together. I mean, like, locked up, so it's not great. But I like seeing the gang get back together. Yeah, that too. Can you not use your arm still, darling? Yeah, how are your powers doing? Uh, that fight was so cool. Anyway. <laughs> Good point. They will fight. Fair point. If you know that you're not gonna, if they're not gonna kill you, then you might as well heal up, right? You can probably sense a difference, right? Or it just looks like what you think is the real one. Yeah. <gasps> Be gentle with him! You can probably sense which one is the actual one, right? Like, you can't just, like, do trial and error. There's, like, too many of them, right? I mean, maybe he will. He's had- he doesn't tend to have a very elegant <laughs> style all of the time. How you doing, girl? You know the truth now. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, she looks determined. She's a go-getter. Oh. <laughs> I don't feel so bad about this one ending this episode. I'm not as stressed out as I sometimes am. <laughs> I'm so glad the whole gang's back together. We got like Shadow and Ganju and Ishida getting healed. Renji seems like he's got some. He's a man on a mission, though. I don't know exactly what he's going after, but he seems to have made some kind of decision about what he's going to be doing. Give me a preview! <gasps> Are you gonna have some more flashback? Ooh.
<laughs> I feel like this is the first time in a while I've like edited an episode and I've just been like hype and smiling and like excited because most of the time I'm like uh I'm I'm sure that that will happen again. <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen again. Especially since Byakuya and Ichigo still have to fight. We saw Hanatoro is getting a punishment of some kind. It doesn't look like he's been, like, captured. They said something about, like, his rank. Like, he was a leader of one of the, like, little groups within the squad. I don't know if that means that he's, like... Like, cause the the rank was his rank was mentioned as like something to consider about his punishment. So does that mean that he's like more important than I thought he was for Squad Four? I'm not really sure because we didn't really get to see him be part of his squad necessarily. We saw him doing some of like the duties of Squad Four, but we haven't really seen him interact with his squad. So I'm not really sure how important he is in the hierarchy but it doesn't I'm, it doesn't look like he's being locked up like Renji was so at least his captain seems somewhat understanding but I guess we'll have to wait and see exactly how that turns out and then uh we had Kira was back having a bit of a a crisis in his cell because he was fighting against Hinamori, which, I mean, look, I understand that he didn't really want to fight her and that he's he's kind of a, he has a bit of a soft, empathetic heart. I get it. But also, like, he was just doing his job and he shouldn't be so hard on himself. She didn't get hurt. You know, I'm sure he wouldn't have seriously hurt her, especially since she is quite capable of holding her own so he should just take a deep breath and i really don't trust Gein showing up with that smile offering to help him because he looked legitimately frightened like kira looked so terrified and that that doesn't make me feel <laughs> better we all, of course have ichigo fighting against zangetsu uh to like put him in submission before he can like properly unlock his Benkai. They had just worked at a partnership, so I'm like, why are we fighting? Why are we submitting? Why is that how this has to- I mean, probably that's just like how it works. But I'd rather they worked it out in a diplomatic way. But also, like, the swords, the field of swords which we saw in the op- we've been seeing in the opener for a while. So that's- where that comes from, and it's kind of like he has to find the real form of his Zenbakuto. He has to find like really like where his resolve to fight is, and he, I feel like he's got he's got to just like not pick out random and like through process of elimination find it. He's got to like dig deeper, you know. But I mean, Ichigo does tend to have a I'll just hit it really hard and hope everything works out kind of strategy. So, we'll see if he gets there, <laughs> what it takes for him to get there, but he will. I believe in him. He'll do it. And then, of course, we have all of our, our gang kind of captured, which, I mean, I feel like I should be more stressed out about, but I feel like Shadow had a good point where it was like, you know, Shadow, uh, Ishida, and Ganju are all in the same place, they're being treated by Squad 4, and it doesn't seem like anyone wants to kill them because if they did, they could have just done it. Like, everybody got knocked down for the count, so why would they heal them if they just wanted them, you know, if they just wanted to kill them? So if what they have to do right now is stay still and heal and be ready for when they're needed, then that's what they need to do, right? So I feel like they're kind of on standby for the next little bit, which I don't think will be entirely awful. They'll probably be interrogated a little bit, and they're, they're kind of like the first people to be suspected of what happened with Aizen. But I also feel like enough of the captains are like, it probably wasn't them. Like, I feel like there's there's enough of a possibility that it, it was one of the other captains or one of the other people who are already in the Soul Society that they're like, 
you know, they're willing to keep their options open. It does seem like a good plan that way. And of course, Zedeki has Orihime, which makes me slightly nervous just because Zedeki is like an intense person. But also, I don't think he has any interest in fighting Orihime because she's not strong enough. Like, he wants to fight Ichigo. Like, that's where his brain is at. So he's basically just holding on to her because he's like, Ichigo will come to get her. Like, Ishigo will show up again, and when he does, I'm gonna- we're gonna have a rematch. Like, I have to beat him because he's stronger than me, or like, he beat me, so I have to like, prove that I'm better than him. So that'll be interesting. So it seems like everyone's kind of, like I said, like, on standby. There's kind of this holding, like, deep breath before the storm kind of feeling right now, with, you know, the little hint with Hinamori at the very end of the episode of her kind of looking really determined to, you know, take whatever information Aizen left for her and do something about it. And she definitely has that determination and like, you know, she was she was like this close to picking a fight with Geed multiple times so far, so she definitely seems like she would have the like drive to make that happen. And of course we saw at NG busting out of his cell, he seems to have come to some kind of conclusion, some kind of decided on some fork in the road where he knows which direction he's going and what is motivating him right now. I'm not sure entirely, but there was a shot of Byakuya, which, uh, considering that that is his captain, makes me a little bit nervous because Byakuya is pretty strong and I don't know if I want Renji picking a fight with him, especially since Byakuya is not going to have any, like, it won't even cross his mind to hold back in any way because Renji is his lieutenant. Like, he is going to just treat him like any other adversary, any other person who's in his way. So, yeah, that makes me nervous, what might happen there, especially since... Renji could win against Ichigo. I'm like, I don't think you can win against Byakuya. Who knows? <laughs> I'm sure you guys know and you're like giggling to yourselves <laughs> because you know what happens and I'm just like, I don't know anymore. Looks like, like, like I said, like it's kind of this holding pattern right now and we're going to like kind of hopefully take a little bit of a breath. And then it's real. I feel like we're gonna get right back into like it just being like one thing after another. Like I feel like it's definitely going to amp up again pretty soon. I'm excited to see more Benkai's. I'm excited to see like what all of this kind of conspiracy stuff is happening with the Soul Society and the captains and stuff. Like what happened to Aizen and why. I'm just, I'm just so hyped after watching these episodes, so uh, I hope you had fun watching along with me. If you did, you can like the video, uh, leave me some more of your wonderful comments, even if it's just to say hi because it does brighten my day so much, and if you're not subscribed, you can do that too because I will continue to be watching Bleach, and if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of that, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!